Hey everyone, welcome to the channel! In this video, we're going to go over how to configure the PlayStation 3 emulator RPCS3 to connect to the new private matchmaking server RPCN. For this video, I'm assuming that you already have some experience with RPCS3, so this isn't a full setup guide. Instead, I'll just be showing you what you need to do to connect to RPCN. If you feel like you've already seen this video, that's because this is the second time that I've uploaded it. The RPCS3 team has been working hard, and there have already been some updates that have changed the setup process, so my previous video is already outdated. Now before we get too far, I do want to mention that this feature is still very much a work in progress, so you can plan on experiencing some issues connecting to other players or maintaining stability once connected. Also, not many games are fully functional through RPCN just yet. While a handful of games do get online, the only two games that have working multiplayer so far are Demon Souls and Bomberman Ultra, although more games should be supported down the road. That said, not every game will become playable online through RPCN, as many PS3 titles require dedicated servers which would also need to be emulated for netplay to work. While a few of these games like Demon's Souls have become playable through private fan-made servers, most of these games will be off-limits for RPCN. So as a general rule of thumb, only games which rely on a peer-to-peer -peer connection might become playable through RPCN in the future. Now that you have an idea of just what you're getting into, let's get started. First you'll want to download the build that's in the description. This feature hasn't been merged into the main release at the time of making this video, so you will need to use a pre-release build for the time being. However, I will update the description to link to the main release once support for RPCN has been merged. Of course, at that point, you can also just update RPCS3 automatically to use RPCN as well. Once you have the files downloaded and extracted, I recommend renaming the RPCS3.exe to keep it separate from your current version of RPCS3 since Netplay is still experimental. However, if you're watching this after it's been merged into the main release, then there's no need to rename this file. Now just copy the executable from the folder that you downloaded and paste it into your main RPCS3 directory. This will allow all of your current settings to carry over into this new build, so you won't need to set anything up aside from in the Network tab. Once your files are in place, open up the new version of RPCS3 that you just downloaded and head up to Config to open up the settings. Go over to the Network tab and make sure that Network Status is set to Connected in the drop-down menu here. Then in the field below it, change your DNS to 8.8.8.8 if it's not already set as such. Next you only need to fill in this IP host switches field if you're playing a game with custom servers such as Demon's Souls. In order to access the Demon's Souls servers, you just need to paste the addresses found in the description below into this field. Moving over to PSN configuration, you'll just need to change the PSN status to RPCN. Once everything is set here, go ahead and save and close your settings. Back on the main menu, head up to configuration at the very top, and then down to RPCN. In this dialog, make sure that the host is set to np.rpcs3.net, which it should be by default. Below that in the NPID field, just type the username that you'd like to use for RPCN, and then create a password for your RPCN account. Once you're set, just hit Create RPCN Account, and you should get a confirmation message telling you that your account was created successfully. You'll stay logged in as long as your NPID and password are filled in correctly, but be sure to remember your password just in case, as currently there's no way to retrieve it if you lose it. All you need to do now is save your settings, then load up a game, and try to join a match like you normally would on a PlayStation 3. Again, just keep in mind that this is still a work in progress, so you may experience issues with things like summoning other players in Demon's Souls, or confirming that you're ready to play in Bomberman, particularly in lobbies with three or more people. Nonetheless, this is a huge step forward for PlayStation 3 emulation, and as RPCN continues to develop, more games should become playable online. This entire feature has been brought to us by RPCS3 developer Galsiv, who has been working on RPCN for the last year, so big thanks goes to him for getting RPCS3 users online. As always, feel free to leave a comment below, or join me over on Discord if you need additional help. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to get subscribed and hit that bell so that you don't miss anything else from me. Otherwise, thanks for watching, 
and I'll catch you in the next one.